the five point mantra please don't change the slide unless i tell you i i request you the five point mantra we at all india cotton farmer producer organization made a panel of the highest cotton yield farmers across india from about eight states of india we made a study of the technology that they are using the system that they are using we discussed with the research institutes of india is this technology viable applicable and they gave their suggestions based on all this study and research and suggestions i am now presenting the five point mantra in in front of this uh, august audience enriching soil with regenerative please go to the back side enriching soil with regenerative agri inputs using livestock byproduct and plant waste this has to be utilized this is a treasure that we have every part of a plant is useful it has to be utilized in that manner that it brings more productivity to the soil the soil has to be uh, enriched because the soil of india is not uh, compatible to the bt growth bt started in 2003 we did nothing else to ensure that the soil is compatible to that seed so we need to enrich the soil number one by regenerative agriculture second is sowing must be north to south the common sowing in india is east to west there's a science behind it the sun moves east to east to west the sowing is east to west so every plant has a shadow on the subsequent plant whenever it's a low sunlight area or days of long duration of rain which are happening right now the productivity of cotton immediately goes down here it is different the sowing is not to south the sun moves east to west so throughout the day from sunrise to sunset there is equivalent light available sunlight available for photosynthesis for every plant and this is not my own idea this is the best system that india's leading farmers are employing and they are getting the highest yield irrigation and fertigation this need not be highlighted it has been highlighted in the past session irrigation is the need of the hour and fertigation application of fertilizers through irrigation we save a lot there and we need to save every pound that we can detopping of cotton plant this is again not very common the cotton plant normally grow to a height of 5 to 6 feet but once they cross that height of 4 to 5 feet they need to be detopped why because what we need is not vertical growth we need horizontal growth we need ball weight we need more branches we need more size per ball and this we have found through research and and analysis this works best and use of technology for farm mapping weather update and yield assessment this is also very 